The Mill Creek Vision was developed by students, teachers, and members of our community. It reads, Hawks soar to excellence by striving to overachieve through accountability and respect. Here are your August SOAR students and faculty. Uh, it means a lot. Um, usually, most people don't get the opportunity to be student of the month, so it uh, really means a lot to out of all those other students here to be the student of the month. It means a lot. Like I feel very like grateful that I got chosen, and I want to thank like all the teachers that like voted for me and the teacher that nominated me because it's a really big deal. <laughs> and I'm very I'm very glad to be chosen. Well, it means to me that I've accomplished something very well at school, and that. I'm doing my part as a student. I felt really excited. I, you know, felt like I made a contribution, you know, to the school. And I like making contributions to the school and helping out every way possible. I want to try to get straight A's this year and uh, to make the high school baseball team. And then I want to, um, in college, I want to go into uh, digital tech to become a video game developer. Um, my goal is to get straight A's and uh, to do better, like better st studying habits, to join more clubs, and uh, yeah. Just to do well in school and go to a good college and everything. <laughs> um, my goals are to keep what I've been doing, you know, keep doing the morning announcements and um, do the live stream and hopefully um, I want everybody at the school to at least check out our live stream. Um, I think it's very important because we live stream many events. And I'm just hoping that hopefully everybody at school can check it out. Uh, I do baseball. I'm also in talent and FBLA and FCA. And I try, I make a schedule to for my studies and then I try to mix them in with my baseball and other things to do the best I can in school. Um, well, I'm involved in, uh, going to be involved in Skills USA soon, and I'd like to be involved in the baseball program once again, and um, just helping out students in general. You know, I, I mostly focus on homework outside of school and focus on that mostly, and uh, I focus what I contribute to the school inside of school. That's the way I kind of do it. I play soccer. And I balance it by just when I get home doing my homework and then studying and everything and then going to soccer. Um, unfortunately, I just started a club this year, and but I'm trying to do better. <laughs> and I joined DECA Club, and it's really important like to have school spirit and to get involved because now that I look back at it, look back. I regret not joining a lot of clubs before, so I'm glad I joined the club this year. And I I make sure I like allocate time to different activities, like the club and my homework and everything at home. So Well Sam Floyd is a member of our yearbook staff as a freshman and she has gone out of her way to find out how to be a valuable part of the staff. She works extra hard. Um, she asks great questions. She was with us in the summer planning as our freshman representative and she was afraid to jump in and make her opinions known and, and participate completely in the workshop experience. She's just came to high school ready to go. So she's ready to soar. And one of the most respectful kids I've ever met in my entire life and uh, you know we mentioned soar a lot here and he has uh, soared from day one. Um, when he doesn't understand something or when he needs help with something, he absolutely comes to me and it's always a certain math a question um, or if he even needs to help someone, he is so respectful to them. Uh, if he finishes soon, he doesn't take it upon himself to do whatever he wants to do. He always asks permission to do that. He's so respectful and that's part of Mr. statement in general. Uh, you know, and thinking about the other parts that he's an overachiever as well in a good way. Um, he, he overachieves um, in, in every aspect of life. He never comes to class.
tired, it seems like. He always seems like he uh, he's very prepared. He's ready for every day. Um, he uh, makes high A's on everything that we do in our class, and he does his best to reach out to the students around him to help bring them up to his level as well. Zanaya is um, one of a kind in our seventh period class. She is extremely diligent with her work, uh, produces great work, um, and always has a great time in class, always engaged, yet uh, always having fun with it at the same time. And uh, the way she works with other people, um, it's what you want in a student, it's what you want in a person. Jared Nelson is someone who exemplifies our SOAR mission statement because he's always going above and beyond and asking what he can do to help out. He comes in every morning at about 6 o'clock and helps me with the morning announcements. Um, this is not a requirement, it's just something that he is willing to do. He also stays after school and he live streams events, both athletics, fine arts events. And I just don't have hardly anyone else that will volunteer to the extent that Jared does. And so that's why I nominated him as the SOAR Student of the Month. And I'm just really proud of him and I'm really thankful for all he does to help me out and, and Mill Creek High School. Thank you, Jared. That was really good to be recognized. Uh, I was really happy, um, very proud, and you know I'm proud to work here and to be a teacher at Mill Creek. And so it means a lot um, to get that recognition from from my peers or my superiors, and um, and uh, to, to be recognized for the good stuff that I do here. Um, I know that all the teachers work really hard, and and we're all doing a lot of good things. Um, but it's always nice to be recognized for that. Well, first of all, thank you so much. I'm very, very honored to be employee of the month. I'm very uh, touched about that because we're having such a hardworking people in this building. And I'm very proud and thankful. So thank you, everybody, who just did that for me.